Hello, welcome to Megaport Customer and Network Services. We're so pleased that you're going to be using our services and we want to do everything in our power to make this a smooth process for you. Today we will examine how Megaport customer support functions, how our team is structured, what resources we offer, and how we can assist you best. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to cover the Megaport customer and network services team, our global operations model, support request and escalation, support request definitions and severity, delineation of support responsibilities, troubleshooting requirements, and typical support volumes. Operating structure and model. There are three primary support teams that report to the head of customer and network services. These are the customer support team, the network support team, and operation engineers. The customer support team is our level one team. They are responsible for direct customer facing support for troubleshooting, incidents, provisioning issues, and general inquiries. These are your first point of contact and the people who respond to emails, chats, and calls. The network support team is responsible for issues escalated to them by the customer support team. They also monitor the network for stability and redundancy. Finally, we have the operations engineering team. Traditionally, level three, they're responsible for the maintenance of the production network and they work on maintaining, expanding, and hardening the Megaport network. They are also part of the escalation process. Megaport provides 24-7, 365 global support. We use a follow the sun model and we have team members in North America, Asia Pacific, and Europe. Teams are based in San Francisco, Brisbane, Dublin, and Berlin. For all our regions, we have a technical supervisor for both the customer network teams. Technical supervisors are an escalation point for customers and they help keep our teams running smoothly. They are available Monday through Friday during business hours in their region. We primarily support our customers in English. Contacting Megaport Support Before you need to contact us regarding a service issue, we recommend that you configure your users for email notifications. In this way, you can stay informed regarding issues with your services such as maintenance or network outages. Configuring a support alias is also very beneficial. If your team uses one login for all support issues, you'll find that previous chat histories are available in our portal. Before reaching out to us, we encourage you to check your Megaport notifications in case you're being impacted by scheduled maintenance. Then we recommend that you follow the troubleshooting steps for your service. If problems persist, you may reach out to us via chat, email, or phone call. Chat response times are typically less than five minutes. Simply open a chat via our portal to speak with someone from our support team. They will be able to provide you proper guidance. If our team needs to open a support ticket on your behalf, you will be given a CSS ticket reference number. In order to resolve your issue quickly, it is helpful for us to gather as much diagnostic information as we can. To that end, please follow the links to our documents portal at docs.megaport.com. Here, documentation covers each of our products, the type of symptoms you may experience, and the types of information we need to assist you. At a minimum, we are going to ask for your service IDs, your company, name, organization, and a brief description of the issue, any recent changes to your service, actions you've taken, or logs that you can provide will greatly assist us in diagnosing the problem. We understand that everything does not always go as planned. That's why we offer 24-7 global escalations. We recommend that you lodge a ticket with customer support services first, of course. If for whatever reason you feel that your issue requires escalation, please request the technical supervisor in your region during normal business hours. Outside of these hours, please use these contacts. These email addresses go to our global CNS management team, the operations engineer manager, NSS manager, and CSS manager, plus all the tech supervisors. Please note, direct links are provided down in the description below. Emailing during normal business hours in your region should result in a quick response from us as you'll likely get someone who is online in your region. It is always recommended to follow this escalation process to get in touch with the right people to assist you with your issue. Support request types. When it comes to customer tickets, we have three main types. Incident tickets, in which a service is down or disrupted. Provisioning tickets, which relate to new services or changes to existing services, and inquiry tickets, 
for general questions. As you can see here, roughly half of our tickets are general inquiries with provisioning being about 25% and the remaining 27% are incidents. These are our SLA commitments and we do our very best to adhere to these timings. Of course, major incidents, such as service outages, are very important for us to resolve as quickly as possible. Please note that time to restore is always based on our best efforts. In some scenarios where we must rely on a third party to effect repairs of infrastructure, for example, it may not be possible to meet these commitments. Our policy is to work to resolve all incidents as quickly as possible while keeping our customers updated on our progress. Whilst a major incident is taking place, we may not be able to respond as quickly to your calls. So, email notifications will keep you informed of what's happening. As mentioned previously, ensuring that your team have their email notifications set up properly is key to keeping your team properly notified of incidents affecting your service. On the screen now are useful resources. If you need direct assistance from any other Megaport teams, please use the contact information on the screen or presented in the description down below. Megaport is here to help and collaborate. We strive to provide world-class customer service and ensure that you have a great experience. Please see the description down below for direct links to useful information. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.